What's up? My name's Robert Rushy. This is MPH Club. It is a random Thursday, and we're gonna do a walk around the parking lot to show you what cars we have on standby right now, what they look like on the inside, a little bit of tidbit facts about the cars. If you like this type of content, let me know. And we're gonna call it Lot Walk. This is the Rolls Royce Dawn Black Badge. When you look at the Spirit of Ecstasy and it's blacked out, this plus the badging being blacked out lets you know this is Black Badge. Black badge means it's more expensive, it's been customized more, it's like the VIP version of these cars. The interior is black with red piping. If you want to close the door, there are these two buttons here. You never have to actually close the door of Rolls Royce cars. It does it for you. Everything is super premium. Rolls Royce, what else do you expect? On to the next. This is a Lamborghini Urus. You've seen it on our vlog before. It's silver with a lime green interior. The interior is sick. You can see the matching brake caliper here. That bright green. Here's what it looks like on the inside. This interior is nuts. Lime green in the front and the back, the armrest. To turn the car on, you're gonna look right here in the center console. There's a fighter jet style button. Press this to turn it on. It sounds sick. Now, the Urus has a Valvetronic exhaust system. So when you switch the Enema, which is Italian for soul, down two clicks to Corsa, you should hear the exhaust open up a little bit. This is the key for the Lamborghini Urus. It says Lamborghini on the back. It's just skinnier than the other Lamborghini model keys. Next up is the red Urus right here. Similarly aggressive. It's got a black brake caliper and a matching black interior. The interior looks exactly the same. We'll just move on to the next car. The cheapest car at MPH Club is actually this green Jeep. It's fucking sick. Green Kevlar paint. It's got a winch up front. It's been lifted three and a half inches. Moto metal wheels. And the entire interior is saddle brown leather it's like an army green on saddle brown it's sick let me show you the whole seats center console and the dash has been replaced with this brown leather it's weatherproof so if you take the freedom panels off or the roof off and it starts to rain it's not the end of the world this is the Corvette C8 now this is a specific type of orange the GM issues it's called Sebring orange that's the name of this color the car is sick we powder coated the wheels black it came in all chrome the brake calipers are chrome and it's an all black interior with white piping. As you can see, in this car, it's an all black interior. The only option is this colored seat belt right here to match the rest of the car. This is a target top, which means the roof comes off and is stored in the trunk so you can have a convertible experience whenever you want. This is the C7 Z06. Z06 means supercharged. It's essentially the performance version of the Corvette. The C8 is the new version, which is a mid-engine, but the C7, the one year prior version, is a front engine. And this is probably going to be the last front engine Corvette ever made. The Z06 badge in here is what lets you know the difference between a Stingray and the performance. The interior is all straight jet black. But what's really cool is from the inside looking up, it's a transparent roof. So it looks blue and it's just see-through. It's dope. Moving on. This is the McLaren 570S. It's a spider, which means it is a convertible, mid-engine, exotic supercar. I'll let you debate that. What's really cool about this car is that it has butterfly doors. It has a jet black interior with white stitching and carbon fiber detailing, like on the center console and on the steering wheel and in a lot of spaces. The car is beautiful. And this car is actually for sale. So if you go to our for sale page, you're gonna find this listed and all the details you'd ever wanna know. On to the next. This is the Rolls-Royce Phantom Series 8. This is also our rolling mobile studio whenever we do Starlight Spotlight videos. If you haven't seen any, we can link them down below. It's insane. It's a V12 engine, Starlight headliner. I'll show you what it looks like right now. So this is the interior of the Phantom. It's all black, wildly premium. And if you're ever driving a Rolls-Royce, you never want to close the doors yourself. The button's right here. It's also a really heavy door, so you don't want to do it yourself anyway. It's a V12, listen to this. It's like nothing. It's really quiet. This car has hundreds of pounds of sound deadening technology in it. But the part of this car you really want to see is the beautiful starlit headlight. This is the button to turn on the stars. Once you click it, they should fade in. Now, this specific set of constellations is the night sky over the factory that produces the Rolls Royce Phantoms in Goodwood, England. This is the default sky that the Phantom comes with, but if you're customizing a Phantom, they can make any sky. Wherever you were, at whatever date, they can make the sky match it exactly. Anyway, on to the next car. Whoa, well, okay, don't close the doors of Rolls Royce Phantoms. There's a button that you just simply press close for you. If you follow our channel, you've seen this car in the previous video. This is the Rolls Royce Cullinan. It's white on red. What's really cool is the key comes in a matching red leather. So usually Rolls Royce keys like this have black leather, but when you customize a car, they customize the key. Let me show you how it sounds. 
This interior is wild, super bright, bright red. Again, V12, and again, super quiet, like all Rolls Royce cars. Don't close the door, use the button. Now, this Starlet headliner is special because it actually has a shooting star built into it. It might take us a while to sit here and wait for a star to show up, but if you were to sit and hang out, you'll eventually see one star dart across the headliner. On to the next car, we have four more to go. Brand new AMG G63 g -Wagon. This is the key. This is the AMG G63 key. On the back, you have the AMG logo here. That's how you know it's special. Or you look inside the car, listen. And then listen to this. Those hard sounds, the aggressive clicks, is a feature that carried over from the prior AMG G63 models. People really love the clicks. This is a much less inefficient system. You actually can't do remote entry. Just because I have the key right here, this will not open for me unless I unlock it because people wanted to keep that clicking sound. They wanted it so bad, they sacrificed modern technology. Anyway, look at the interior. Thread. This interior is insane, but it's a V8 engine and recently Mercedes has announced they're not making any more of these V8 engines So we should treasure the ones we have. Listen That's sick. It's a modern super SUV that sounds like an old-school muscle car. It's a Valvetronic exhaust system So when you click this button here, the light turns on You notice it gets louder. You know something just opened up. Listen to this So this badge right here says shuckle proof Shuckle is the name of a mountain in Austria where the AMG team designs these cars. So it's kind of similar to how Jeeps have a badge that says like Rubicon Trail. It's been proven on that treacherous trail. The Shuckle Trail puts the Rubicon to shame. On to the next car. So this is the little brother to the G63. This is actually the G550 and it is the one year previous model. So little brother, let me show you what it looks like. Same walking sound from earlier. This one also has a red interior. It also has carbon fiber detailing. You can see kind of the trim throughout. Um, and yeah, this is basically the same car, just a little smaller, one year older. And let's move on to the next one. This behemoth behind me is the brand new Cadillac Escalade Platinum ESV. That's how you know it's the Mac Daddy version of the Escalade. This means that it's the Platinum and this is the ESV, which stands for Extended Stretch Vehicle. Every time it escalates as ESV, it means it's the same car, but longer. It's literally been stretched. One more cool thing, because of the chip shortages that the automotive industry is facing, you can't include all of the bells and whistles on cars. But this version of the Escalade has every single bell and whistle, including the step board. So when you open the door, this pops out. Now, any aftermarket company can do this for you, but if you want it directly from Cadillac themselves, you have to buy them used, you can't order this anymore. This version has TVs. <laughs> this seven-seater luxury SUV that has the running step boards is sick. On to the next. This is the same car. It's the ESV version of Cadillac Escalade. It's just not platinum, which means it's not the most luxurious version of the car. You can tell by the front plate front grill emblem, I should say. Platinum. Not black. I'd love to show you the inside of this car, but honestly, it's exactly the same as this one. So let's move on. All right, we just wrapped up Lot Walk. If you like this type of content, let us know. I can just show you whatever's on the lot at any random given time, show you what all the cars look like, inside, outside, what they sound like to turn on, random tidbit facts. Uh, if you like it, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.